Life Lessons, shared by Calvin Butler. My, my belief is that um, through international education, you get to see so many other things that are open to you and you dream bigger. Butler, the first black president and CEO at Exelon Corporation, is talking to students here at Leo High School in Auburn Gresham. The worst thing that can happen to any of us is that we start believing our success or our abilities are limited by our neighborhood or where we grew up. Students also got to ask Butler questions about his career and how he got his start from working as a lawyer to now heading the nation's largest energy supplier. Like I'm a minority as well, so it's like almost like an idol. So, you know, someone to look. <laughs> I'm a minority as well. Like, dude. <laughs> South Africa 2.0, here we come. Dude, you're not nothing like him, man. <laughs> You're your own thing, man. Up to. The words spoken by Excellence president and CEO were not lost on the young men here at Leo High School. Those we spoke with said his speech inspired them to achieve their dreams. I feel that if I'm good enough for what I can accomplish, I'll be able to become a CEO. It's not planned, but. Like <laughs> yeah, you just become a CEO. Like, of, of what feel like it's. Yeah. I was, I was I mean, thinking that too. I was like, the CEO of what? I mean, it's like it's like when they say, "Man, we were kings." Yeah, exactly. Like, but it's like it's like entitlement because they know that, yo, they're looking for some people for these positions. So if I whatever position, whatever field I get into, I'm the uh, they they look up and put a sun man in that position. So if not, the racist. If you exactly. click the right box on that application, you're done. You're good. Yeah. Exelon is a public utility company. It's uh, power and water. Mm. That's where you get your power from, um, Wicked? Exelon? Uh, no. Oh, wait. Is that ComEd? I think it is, actually. Okay. I feel that if I'm good enough for what I can accomplish, I'll be able to become a CEO. It's not planned, but like he said himself, he fell into it. Butler told the students he fell into it. He just fell into being the CEO. Yeah, he, the fell, CEO well, he fell into it. The they, they needed him to be mentor. there, man. <laughs> they needed, they needed that guy. invested in me, and I have an opportunity to give back. Butler was the first in his family to earn a college degree. He was raised by his mother. His father was around, but not in the home. What I would tell you is that those experiences, I think, make me a better CEO. Where Exelon is committed to diversity, equity, and conclusion, I live. <laughs> diversity, equity, and conclusion? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to yeah. say things I feel the, heard. Yeah, he actually said that, right? The yeah. Diversity, equity, and conclusion. <laughs> well, when, when your lights go out this summer, man, now you know why. Now you know why. Rolling black house. <laughs> yeah, listen, man. He was right though. Dude, I was a Freudian slip because it, it's over. <laughs> so diversity, equity, and conclusion. What I would tell you is that those experiences, I think, make me a better CEO. Where Exelon is committed to diversity, equity, and conclusion, I live it. And shame on he me really if I don't it. bring that to the table. As part of National Volunteer Month. Butler and other Exelon employees joined the students outside the school, planting flowers and applying fresh paint to renew signage. A very fitting project as Butler's story encourages future generations to grow to their fullest potential. Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News. You can tell how valuable At least that they're back to the community. Yes. is, right? The kids were hanging on his every word, it seemed like. You can hear the confidence in their voices, right. see it on their faces. They can be the next one. Yeah. We do want to mention, guy, before becoming too excellent. How is that guy out there, like, painting and stuff? Shouldn't he be CEOing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who needs water and power anyway? That's a luxury that's not a necessity. Oh, shit. Listen, man, not for nothing, though, man. 
I'm gonna give I'm gonna give my guy a break, man. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give my my my, my son man a break, man. He was he was a very impressive son, man. I mean, listen, man. No, man. I'm I'm not even gonna lie, man. This this is this is a very impressive son, man. I mean, he he I his spirit, his countenance, his aura. It seems as if he probably did do good on the bar exam to get into law school. And maybe um, he may have been, you know, he may have been qualified. Let's right, say just like Catherine yeah. Brown, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is the woman? Tell how valuable that encouragement yes. is, right? The kids were hanging on his every word. It seemed like you can hear the confidence in their voices. Right. See it on their faces. They can be the next one. Yeah, we do want to today. mention before coming to Exelon Butler was CEO at Baltimore Gas and Electric and named in a racial. Dis uh -oh. Before coming to Exelon, Butler was CEO at Baltimore Gas and Electric and named in a racial discrimination lawsuit brought by black employees. Butler says when they learn of issues, they are addressed, adding the leadership team. So he uh -oh. was he started. He was too hard on the sun, man. So they claim yeah. racial discrimination. Or maybe he was a part of that lawsuit. So that's what they said. Right? No, no, they, they said they said they were suing him for being a racist. No, e Exelon no. owns uh, six regulated utilities: Atlantic City Electric, Commonwealth Edison, Pico Energy Company, Baltimore Gas and Electric, Delamar Power and Light, and Pepco. Oh, DC. Yeah. Pepco is DC. So yeah, so yeah, we got Commonwealth Edison over here. So hold on, time out. I, I gotta understand this. Y'all think he was the one that was sued? I think he was the one that was doing the suing. No, yeah, I thought they, they said he was named on the class action. He, he was named in the suit. So, so what does that yeah, mean? As, I mean? Run right, it back real quick. Him. They were suing him. Oh. Valuable that right. encouragement yes. is right. The kids were hanging on his every word. It seemed like you can hear the confidence in their right. voices. See it on their faces. They can be the next one. Yeah, and we do want to mention before coming to Exelon, Butler was CEO at Baltimore Gas and Electric and named in a racial discrimination lawsuit brought by black employees. Butler says when they learn of issues, they are addressed. Adding, oh the yeah, he got oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I told you he was a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> so he's racist. He tried to enforce the laws and make yeah. people work. Right, you gotta, you gotta get out of time. He, 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 tried. He, uh, he went by the book, man, and, and it was like you racist. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, so Migos don't go by, by the book. By the way, I expect brownouts. Yeah, man. Um, this is this is called failing upwards. But I mean, he seems like he's, you know, a, a glider. You know, he's a glider supremacy kind of guy. Yeah, he did the right thing. Man. If, if he's getting sued by some people, man, yo, he's doing the right thing. Man. He actually, he actually right. might be very good at his job. It's true. You got to show up on time. You got to actually do what the, the work. You got to actually, like, shit, right. gotta, I mean, shit has to run properly. You can't be inappropriate. Yeah, yeah, like, if, if shit's not running properly, people are losing their jobs. So well, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put zero per zero dollars on that. That this guy I mean, is gonna do a bang up job. That that company does uh, New Jersey, Illinois, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, and DMV. I mean, it's like that's a yeah, big monster. That's a company. big ass company. Yeah, yeah. BGE &E alone is, is huge. Pepco alone is. Huge. Yeah, definitely, man. Um, they're pretty. They're pretty powerful here. They're involved in um in a huge um. Investigation, um, through the because of politicians, they in bribery and whatnot, they're pretty powerful, yeah. Man, this guy's this guy's the CEO of all that, shit, man. Um, um, salute to him, man. Hey, man, son, man, this one son, man, you ain't gotta worry about um, clapping you upside your head and taking your fucking wallet, man. Big salute, no, he'll yeah. just fucking ruin your power. <laughs> <laughs> Got your um, <laughs> 